Today I'm taking a look at the Colin Roken Star Wars Funko Pop from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Let's jump right into it. Hey everyone, my name is Christopher. Welcome to Seriously Star Wars. On this channel I do weekly Star Wars reviews, so if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Alright, so today I'm checking out the Colin Roken Star Wars Funko Pop from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. He is uh, he's, uh, the character that was in, what was it, episode, episode 4, I think we got introduced to this character. He's played by uh, O'Shea Jackson Jr., um, Ice Cube's son, um, and he is, uh, he's one of, the, um, one of the, the members of the path. Um, so really excited to get my hands on this character. Uh, he, he did a really decent job uh, playing this character as well. Um, looking at the, uh, the pop itself, it, do, it does look very cool as well. And, um, this is pretty much like a, like I mentioned in my haul video, I did get, managed to get all of the, uh, the common Funko Pops from, from this initial first wave of, uh, Keno Obi-Wan Kenobi series Funko Pops. Um, and I, along with some exclusives as well. So I do have some exclusives from the show as well, but, um, let's take a quick look at the packaging before we get him out of the box. So, he does have that same Obi-Wan Kenobi um, color scheme going on on the packaging there. So, you got the black with the silver, or the, the gray, dark gray pinstriping, the silver around the uh, series number. Um, and Colin, or Col Colin Roken is, uh, is number 540 in the series there. Um, so, you got your usual Funko Pop branding on the box. So, you got the... Uh, the Funko Pop branding, the Star Wars branding, all the way around the box here. Um, you got the the name Qual Colin Roken. I keep saying Colin. It's Colin Colin Roken. Um, again, with that that brown, that kind of golden sand color um, color scheme going on for the the rest of the box there, along with that black with the the, the gray pinstriping there. Along same with the side there. And all around the packaging on the uh, the back side, of course, you got the uh, the other Funko Pops in the uh, the wave here, and I do have the rest of these Funko Pops. I did a review on the Obi Wan Kenobi and the Vader um, earlier already, um, so um, I do have the uh, Tala Durith or Durith. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, and then the I have the third sister Riva there as well, as well as a couple exclusive Funko Pops coming. So. Um, I do have a, a bunch more of these Obi-Wan Kenobi Funko Pops to review. And of course you got the, uh, the, the rendering of the Funko Pop on the box there as well. All four sides here. Partial images as well as the, uh, the top there as well. So your usual Funko Pop branding and it's in that Obi-Wan Kenobi series uh, color scheme like I mentioned. But let's get, uh, let's get Qual Colin Roken. Out of, the, out of the packaging and we'll take a closer look at him. Alright, so there is Colin Roken out of the packaging and I gotta say I, I really do like the, the look of this figure here. They, like the this... Uh, this Funko Pop does do justice to the the original character. Like I, I think he translated very well into Funko Pop form. Um, the stance, you know, not the greatest stance, but it's not that that boring uh, quote unquote hero pose from the original, uh, the very first Star Wars Funko Pops that they released in the blue box. Um, so like you know the, the the feet are pointed in different directions. One leg is kind of kind of bent back slightly there so you know the stance does look natural and similar to like the the mithril from the mandalorian that i reviewed a while back like yeah the stance isn't like one of the greatest stance with stances we've seen but for this character it does suit him so that that kind of helps translate uh the the character into pop form when they, they give him a stance that like the character would be in in the show so you know, Qu Qualin, or Co Colin Roken is uh, he's uh, he's he seems like a tough character in the uh, 
in the series, you know, uh, a, a leader, obviously, as, as Obi-Wan Kenobi says to uh, Roken that, you know, people are going to look to him to lead, so, you know, keep it up kind of thing. So, um, you know, he does look, he does have that tough look to this, uh, this Funko Pop, this character. Um, I don't see any, you know, mishaps as far as the paint application goes. I don't see any, like, mispaints or, or overpaint anywhere. So they, they did a really nice job on the paint application. Um, you got the, the different grays and beiges for his outfit. It's a little bit of brown in the boots there. Um, and on the, uh, the holsters here. Uh, you got blue on his, his undershirt, like for the sleeves. So a nice, nice little contrast there with the blue. Um, of course, the stance-wise, you know, like I mentioned, you know, not, not one of the better action poses that we've seen on Funko Pops, but he does... You know, he's holding that bowcaster. He's ready for battle. He's kind of like standing guard, you know. what The, the legs aren't, uh, you know, perfectly straight there, you know. One is uh, offset a little bit. His right leg is kind of like back a bit more than the other leg. So I do appreciate when that when they do kind of like a just a standing pose where they're just standing there. They don't just put the legs, you know, just straight. Like, like I mentioned in that, that quote-unquote hero pose from the earlier Funko Pops. So I do appreciate that they don't just put the, the legs straight like that. And, um, yeah, like, the, they're getting better with the details on this, like the, the ruffles and the pant, pant legs there, there, um, you know, to show that they're a little bit baggier on him. Um, the buckles and stuff on the boots, if the, that shows on camera. Um, as I mentioned, like, the, the blaster in his holster, that's a nice little detail. Um, whatever that is at the, the other side there. The rag... Just coming out of his, uh, out of his pocket, I guess, out from underneath his uh, his vest. Um, he's got little, little buckles and stuff on his vest there as well. Little snaps, it looks like. Um, they did a pretty decent job on the uh, the details on the bowcaster as well. So really happy about having this pop in my collection. Um, the the head itself and the face looks pretty decent as well like uh, I would say that looks like a uh, how the the character looks in the the series a good representation of Roken um, so really happy about this pop and I do have the majority of these Obi-Wan Kenobi series Funko Pops to review as I mentioned I did review the the Darth Vader and the Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, last week and a couple days ago um, for each of those so I do have more reviews coming on these other Obi-Wan Kenobi Star, uh, Star Wars Funko Pops. But for now, what do you guys think of the, the Colin Roken Star Wars Funko Pop from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and then click to watch one of my other reviews. Thank you so much for watching, and may the Force be with you.